Hello and welcome to a new video about my MQTT motor controller. Well, actually it's not... Okay, there is already a motor controller, yeah? but actually it is not connected to MQTT. Today we are connecting to MQTT. Up to now we made preparation. We, prepar we prepared for Wi-Fi connection. We did Wi-Fi connection. We prepared for MQTT connection. Now, today we want to connect to MQTT. Right? So, uh, I will do it exactly the same as as with Wi-Fi, so I'm just coping those things. So IoT check time, not Wi-Fi check them, IoT check time, but actually the timing is okay. Uh, and of course this one we need, so we need somewhere uh, uh, void, uh, how is this called? Connect Wi-Fi, so we call it Connect IoT All right uh, Maybe here we, know we use the MQDT client MQDT client and we need then that this MQDT client is uh, Well using what do we need there? We need the the uh, nothing actually. Of course, MQTT client set callback set callback function. Ooh, we need a callback function. How must this callback function look like? What? Well, I will. Simply write it here. Yeah. I will call it void IoT callback. Yeah. IoT receive callback. That's a good name. And there we need a char uh, with the topic string actually, the topic. Then we have byte the payload. And we have an unsigned int. This is the length of the message. And actually, this is called if we are receiving something. I will just do it like this. Int i uh, string uh, uh, topic string it's topic. Then I'm with string receive string. This should be empty at the beginning. Uh, and we will use uh, for i for i oh yeah for i equals zero i smaller than length mm -hmm. i plus plus what should should be do we will call receive string plus equals then we using the payload and in the end we'll just write zero dot print print line receive string maybe we should also do it do it like that uh, if uh, verbose iot dot info uh, communication uh, verb communication uh, then we only write this and we make zero dot print received topic zero dot print topic string S S S 
remember, let's make print, print line. This is good. And we make serial dot print uh, dot print <laughs> uh, message. Okay, so we have a received topic and a received message. And this we only print out if we have the verbose level of info and communications in the IoT verbose. All right, this should be this should be nice. So the receive thing, uh, <laughs> I forgot how I, I called it. IoT receive callback, IoT receive callback. That's it. Uh, that's it. So we have now set up the callback for the NQTT client. Good! Actually, the only thing we have to do is this one. I will copy the whole bunch here. Boop, 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 boop. And now, to don't get confused, I will close this one here. And here I have to set IoT. IoT check time, timed out. Yeah. Status, start connect IoT. We want to be connected to IoT server. Okay. If status by IoT connected, we believe we are connected. And now there must be a difference. Now I don't have to check, I don't have to check the the Wi-Fi status, I have to check the MQTT status. Okay, so actually uh, this means this is gone and we have to hear if not MQTT client dot connected. If not connected, we clear the bit that we are connected. We set the IoT check time to 500 and we say verb, verb IoT of course debug common status of IoT connection look how fast this is going shall be connected but is a and here we'll just, just write connected mqtt client dot status is there something like this state good this we have checked yeah we want to be connected are connected everything is all right i will call iot iot check them set timeout and here we will set not the Wi-Fi late, we will set the IoT LED high. All right. If we believe we are not connected, but we want to be connected, so we call connect IoT here. And now, that's this. We do not want to be connected to IoT. If status bit IoT connected, yeah, we believe we are connected, we are calling MQDD client dot, dot disconnect and we will reset the status to IoT, we will reset the status of IoT connected. Good. Else we believe we are not connected and do not want to be connected. Yeah. What needs to be done? Hmm. We need an if then uh, MQDT client dot connected. If we are connected. We believe we are not connected and do not want to be connected, but if we are connected, we will set the bit that IoT is connected. Yeah? 
timeout, we write the IoT LED to high and Wi-Fi IoT verbose common communication status of IoT connection did not fit, shall be disconnected by this and here we will again write this uh, MQTT client.state good what is this bringing back? integer no, why not? alright and here we are disconnected, wanted to be, everything is alright, check Wi-Fi, no, the Wi-Fi is wrong Ooh, ooh there is also Wi-Fi, ooh, ooh uh, hopefully I have not IoT check time, also here IoT check time, and here we write IoT LED low Good, so this should bring us the connection to IoT Here we are. Hopefully. Yeah? Now we only have to take care about connect IoT and this I will also I will also simply copy this. Connect Wi-Fi, connect IoT. And now I just have to rewrite it somehow. Yeah? Adapt it to the to the needs I have for for IoT. So if bit is IoT connecting. What was this? Oh, I'm compiling already. This is maybe a little bit. No, I don't want. Thank you. Just hit the wrong button. IoT connecting. We are connecting to IoT. And here, if not connect MQTT client connected, so we are not connected. If IoT check time timed out, verb IoT comment make a dot, all right. And here I have IoT LED, IoT LED, and here IoT check time. This will make the blinking LED, and I will use simply the same retries. Yeah. So, and I'm not calling here Wi-Fi disconnect, I'm calling MQTT client dot disconnect, this is good, bit status gear, IoT connecting, okay, IoT check time, everything is the same, verb IoT, could not connect, all right, and then here we are connected to IoT server, IoT check them, the both IoT information connected. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah. So actually, this is we are not connected. We are not yet connected. Yeah. Alright. Is that? And then we are connected to IoT server. Verb IoT connected. Then we write the L, uh, IoT LED high. Uh, status IoT connected set and status IoT connecting false. Good. That's that. Uh, and here we are not connecting to IoT. This means actually we should be connected if IoT check time. Okay. Here we want to connect. This is this is where we try to connect. Here we must be a little bit more specific because this time I can only say uh, if uh, uh, status bit read status bit status byte. And I'm reading 
start Wi-Fi connected. Only in this case, only in case we are connected. Yeah, because if you're not connected to Wi-Fi, try to connect to IoT doesn't really make sense. Else, what is what is uh, here? We are connected, connected to Wi-Fi. Here this means we are not connected. To Wi-Fi. If we are not connected to Wi-Fi, but we want to connect, yeah, I have to check uh, if MQTT client dot connected. If this thinks thinks it is connected, what would be stupid? But why not MQTT client dot disconnect. Alright, we call the disconnect and we make here, but we call it bit clear. IRD connected. And we will also be clear connecting that we have a stable. Oh, what's this? Connecting. That we have a stable setup. And then we wait. IoT. Check time dot set timeout. We wait for five seconds. All right, this here actually I don't need. Ah, I will maybe need it here. Yeah. Here we want to connect and to to. Uh, so uh, this is actually what I need here. Here, yeah. but I'm not having a string SSID. I have a string client ID. I have a string host, MQTT broker. I have a string uh, username, and I have a string password. And now I am using IoT client ID. Get string, and this should be client ID. I'm using IoT host get string, and this shall be host. I'm using IoT uh, user get string, and this shall be Username. Wow, what is this? Username. All right, and I have IoT pass, and this is also get string and you password. These are the things I need to connect. These are the things I need to connect to connect. I need to connect to <laughs> IMQTD host. And here, IoT. Okay. Try to connect to IoT server. Connecting to, and I'm not printing SSID, I print the host name. All right, so. I will set set server. This is the host C string hist because we need 
C type string, and then we need the port, yeah, MQTT port. I will define this over here, and I'm going to use a secure connection. So here, here's a good position. I will define MQTT port, and the secure connection is at 8883. Chuck, close this. Secure connection is at 8883 MQTT port. All right, looking good. So we set now the server. Yeah. Now we try to connect. Yeah. If we are not able to connect to MQTT client dot connect, and we having client ID. dot c string then we are having username dot c string then we are having a password dot c string If you're not able to connect, yeah, then in debug case, I will call it the arrow connecting to IoT server. Host reason code here need the backslashes escape sequences, okay, reason code and then I MQTT client dot state. Print line. All right, that's it. So if I'm not able to connect, I print out the state. Yeah. Else, here, we had a successful, uh, successful uh, connection. Yeah. I was simply said connecting. Bit set uh, status byte state IOD connecting and IOD check time set timeout to 500 bz bit set of course all right that's actually it now this thing should try to connect to mqtt server this thing really should try let's see if I'm uploading this, we will see what is happening.
Okay, we're trying to connect. Could not connect. Test toes, of course. Reason code. <laughs> Minus two means not reachable. A test host. I will set the set now the correct usernames. Yeah. Uh, the user. We cannot connect. Reason code minus two. Okay, I have here some errors. This is probably better that way. But the thing remains. The thing remains, I cannot connect. It's always trying, but I cannot connect. Why is that? Why do we believe is that? Well, we want to establish a secure uh, connection. And the secure connection needs a needs, uh, certificate. Yeah. We have no, no certificate at all. We just try to connect and believe. So, actually, there is a video where I explain how to get a secure connection and so on, how to get the, the uh, certificate of a certain server. And I have already prepared this. Yeah? So I will add an existing element navigate This is how this thing looks like. Yeah? That's the root certificate of the server I want to connect to. Yeah. This is how it looks like. And in the previous video, I have explained how to get this. Yeah? And here, I just have to read this. So I already received the same, the same uh, server. I've used the same server. So I should be able to simply call in where was this used in setup here? Here I will say Wi-Fi client and set CA certificate and it's root CA. Actually, why is it not marked as OK? Because I have to read it in. I have to include this. Uh, root c8.h. Now everything should be fine actually. Root c. Yes. Let's upload this. Now we have the root certificate. Right now the server is rejecting our request huh? because Actually, we are rejected because we don't have a certificate. Yeah. Let's see if it's now working. Hopefully.
connected. Haha! <laughs> it was really just... It was really just the... the... root certificate. I don't like that this is, this is written here. If I say, I don't know... Stop IoT. Uh, IoT off. What is happening? Nothing. It's only connecting. IoT on. Whew. At least we are connected. At least we are connected to 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 the IoT server. But with all this, what is this minus three? Status of IoT connection did not fit. Shall be connected, but is minus three. What does it mean, minus three? Connection lost. Connection lost. Okay, then it's okay. Then actually it's okay that it tries to reconnect and establish the reconnection. Why is the connection lost? <laughs> we don't know. But why is it not working if I type in IoT off? Oh, I have not. I have not programmed it. Of course I have an error. So, case IOD callback connect bit set status byte start connect IOD. Okay. Actually, I will copy all those stuff. And IoT disconnect, clear IoT. Okay, this is good. And I take this opportunity to also type in some other, other commands because actually we have also Wi Fi print ID case Wi Fi callback print print IP. Here I will just say Wi Fi uh, uh, I'll write to the output port directly. Output port print and here I just have Wi Fi dot local local IP. Print it out, break. And then we have case Wi-Fi callback print print status. And I will write to output port print Wi-Fi dot status. This is also supported by by my Wi-Fi callback function. Okay, let's see if it's working now better. This is good actually, this is very good. Ooh, I also have to clear the bytes, the bits. Okay, we are connected. And now write IoT off. <gasps> it's off. Alright. On. 
We're connected again. Good. Good. And I will get the Bose to here. Yeah. So we'll turn off simply uh, stop debug to stop info to. All right, one thing I still found or noticed that if we could not connect, we're printing out, we could not connect, but we are not turning off the LED. Reason code, connecting to, uh, here, could not connect, and we say uh, digital, right? IoT pin, a LED ID, no, IoT LED, <laughs> ah, finally, zero, turn off the, the indication. Hey, I just had to look up here. Good, and if we are not connected, we are not yet connected. It says the status does not fit. Status, of course it doesn't fit, because we have to bit clear those. This is the reason for that. Okay. Now, if we upload this to our controller and we have a look what is happening, then probably we will see that we are connected to MUDD. It was a long road. It was a long road, wasn't it? Indeed. Yeah? We did a lot of coding, a lot of stuff. But now, finally, we are there. Hmm? We are there that we can connect to, to, to an MQTT server and actually this is an open platform now. This is just connecting to an MQTT server, to Wi-Fi network and then afterwards to an MQTT server and you can use it for any anything. Yeah? So this is a good base, I think this is a good base for using your in your MQTT projects. Good! Uh, did things here? All right. Deeper. Okay. This is already done. Okay. If we are connected, if we are connected, we need to subscribe. If we want to subscribe something, yeah, we need to subscribe at a certain position. And this is actually. IoT connecting, else, we are connected to IoT server, connected, here actually, here, I will call, or make here void, Subscribe topics. This will be empty right now. So it should be good for me. But here I will call subscribe topic. Now I know, okay, there is subscribe topics. I have just to write in there the topics I want to subscribe. Yeah. yeah. This is now a good program. I would, at least it's not a bad thing. Yeah. yeah like I said, it was a long way. It was a long way up to here. Yeah. But now that we are connected to MQTT, we can really do what we wish. 
Okay, we can really do um, get get this thing going that we read in a topic, we're subscribing a topic, read in stuff, and then control the motor with this. This is the thing we are going to do in the next video. Okay, in next videos we are subscribing a topic, and whatever the topic is, we will adjust the motor speed accordingly. Next video. But this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.